it's Jordan Davis again. Thank you for clicking on this video and welcome back to my channel. Y'all, I swear to God, I have, it is so late right now. It is like 940 and I am just getting around to filming. So we're going to go ahead and get right into these tonight. I've had a lot of meetings today, which is why I ended up getting around so late. I had a meeting at seven o'clock that was supposed to be like an hour, but we ended up staying in Chapman until, you know, 930. So it was nice, but it made my schedule compressed so we have a short amount of time to do these reactions speaking of this is our last full night of reactions we have one more for tomorrow along with the recap video that i'm filming tomorrow but i might film the reaction tonight and release it with the recap video on friday i haven't decided yet so anyway we are moving on to 19th place which was lithuania hey lithuania with the song Say Ma Vie by Evelina Sashenko. So, super excited to get into this. Generally, I really like Lithuanian Eurovision, um, although this looks to be in, is it French? So, I'm interested to get into this and see what, what they were sending, what they were thinking for Eurovision 2011. So, let's go ahead and get into it. I like that beginning. Reminds me of an Alicia Keys song. <laughs> She reminds me of one of those regular people who end up being a singer, like Susan Boyle, but you know, she don't look like Susan Boyle, but just, you know, one of the people from the streets who end up being a good singer. Is this sign language? Oh, that's cool. That's unique, I like that. And inclusive. Y'all, this is so different. You have to tell me like how this came about as a Lithuanian entry because this is so different from 
anything Lithuania has sent to Eurovision that I'm like, huh, that's, it's really interesting how countries can just one year decide to send us something totally different from what they usually send. And so I'm always interested in those cases, how that came about. Her vocal was spectacular. Her vocal was so on point for the song. Like I said, it was really Disney-ish and she had that kind of light, um, piercing female vocal that Disney tends to cast for its lead uh, female roles. So of course, that fit in with that. Um, but also just the style of the song. The song itself was like a beautiful ballad. It was quite repetitive lyrically. Um, like she kept returning to that same Abi motif lyrically and melodically. And so I don't think it was the most interesting song for that reason, but the fact that she incorporated the sign language was super cool. I was not expecting that, and I don't know if any other Eurovision performances have done that, so you'll have to let me know if they have or not. But that was a really cool addition, and that just kind of added something different visually, um, as well as being nice and inclusive, so I appreciated that. Overall, was it my favorite song of the year? No. Would I have had it this high? Probably not quite this high. Um, I probably would have had it a few places lower than this. Um, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was pleasant and I can see why it qualified. So let me know what you think about this. Is this one of your favorite songs from this year? Is it not? Would you have it here? Would you have it lower or higher? Let me know. Anyway, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching this video and as always, I'll see you next time.